Hello kindergartners, we have been reading this story, Neighborhood Walk City, and it's a nonfiction story that talks about um, what's it like to live in a big city. And we're gonna be looking at two different pages today. We're gonna start right here. It's on page 18 and 19. So go ahead and grab your book and turn to 18 and 19. All right, and we're gonna first read this story, this page, and then we're gonna go to another page to look a little bit closer at these two pages. All right, so here's our heading. It says, food. Everyone needs food to eat. Most people in cities get their food from grocery stores. Large grocery stores sell many kinds of food. Some neighborhoods also have smaller stores and farmer's markets. And then the caption to this picture, so here's our picture. It says, large city grocery stores sell many kinds of foods. So where do people in cities get food from? What were some of the places that we, that we just talked about? A lot of people get it from grocery stores or some neighborhood stores or some farmer's markets. Those were all different places to get food. All right, now let's look at this picture here on this page. What do you see them doing? Well, I see some people sitting down at tables and it looks like they're eating food. So this must be a restaurant or some place to go and eat. Now let's look and let's read these words and let's see how these words match the pictures. Because remember, an author and an illustrator or the words in the pictures, they always go together. All right, let's read this part. Cities have many places to eat. There are fast food restaurants and sidewalk cafes. Some restaurants serve food from different countries. Sometimes you can even buy food from vendors on the streets. And the caption says, people sometimes enjoy eating outdoors on nice days. Now, how are these words and the pictures the same? How are they the same? How do they go together? Where the words were telling us how people like to go out go outdoors and eat and eat at restaurants and cafes. And this picture is a picture of people eating outdoors. Because remember, the words should match the pictures. And that's what we have here. The picture shows people eating outside and the words talk about people like liking to eat outside. All right, we're gonna flip to another page in our story. It's page 26 and 27. So if you need to pause the video to get there, go ahead and try and get there, okay? And then let's read this part. It says, having fun. So that's our heading of this section. So it's talking about people having fun. All right, let's try and read it. There are lots of fun things to do in a city. Most cities have parks playgrounds, and gardens for people to enjoy. There are also ball fields, bike paths, and many other places for outdoor activities. Even downtown, people can enjoy the outdoors. So look at these pictures. So the, pic the words talked about going outside and playing in playgrounds and parks, and our picture is showing people that are outside playing. All right. Cities have many places to visit. There are museums for art, history, and science. There may be aquariums and zoos too. People can go to theaters to see plays or enjoy music concerts. Now there's something in here that I'm not sure if we know about, and that's museums for art, history, and science, and aquariums. Now, hmm, do you know what those are? Now there's some things that are art pieces that very famous people have made. And so one building collects all of them. So collects means to bring all of them to one place. So you find all of these special pieces of art and you put them all into one place. You collect them all into one place. Or for history, you get some really cool things from, the, from a long, long time ago and you put them all together into one building and you collect them all into one building. And same with aquariums. Aquariums are for fish. 
So fish or things in the ocean or water that they bring all those different kind of animals and they collect them and put them into one building so that we can go and see them. Same thing with zoos. Have you ever been to a zoo before? It's all special kinds of animals that live all around the world and they collect them and they bring them together into one spot. So collecting means to grab up, to get a bunch of different things that are all kind of the same, like all the animals or all the underwater animals, and you bring them together and you put them in one place so you, everyone can see it. All right, so I'm gonna, we're going to pause right here with our story, and we're going to take out our Reader's Writer's Journal. And if you don't have um, a Reader's Writer's Journal, that's okay. You can just use a piece of paper and write it on a piece of paper. But this word collect... I want you to draw a picture of what that means. What does collecting mean? When you collect something, right? Then I want you to answer this question. What kinds of fun events do city neighborhoods have? Or what are some different places that you can go in a city neighborhood? All right, when you're done with that, I would love you to post this onto Seesaw, all right? And I'll see your work there.